Thanks for joining us on Valley News Live. We have some changes to talk about. First alert weather days, making sure that you have that heads up that you need to make plans. Uh, much of the viewing area is going to see some significant temperature changes. We talked about how much above average we were today and the next couple of days, the same goes. Chance of a shower here or there. The oranges representative of 60s and even some 70s here in the valley all the way through Wednesday. Now we're going to full screen this so you get a full screen view of the big blue blob that's working its way out of Canada. Oh no, look at that white line. That is Hutch's freezing line and ah, 32 degrees sneaking right down into Fargo. Hard freeze for much of the area. This is just one model, but there's a decent chance of freezing conditions over quite a large area. If we stay below freezing for more than three hours, that's called a hard freeze that ends the growing season. So you know what that means for your tomatoes and hoses that happen to be outside. So start planning now by Friday morning. We could have some changes and Saturday morning looks a little on the cool side as well, but not as cold. Ah, it's Friday morning. Look at the fall colors. Here's what you need to know. That cold front does sweep its way through. Uh, wind chill could be a factor as well with a north wind coming down with those uh, that Canadian air mass as we go into Friday. Well, we could see some 20s once again. So here's a look at our current conditions. Look at the beautiful colors coming out here. It's almost like magic. We're seeing them change each and every day. Things are getting a little different. Showers, rumbles of thunder up north. We did have some thunder down south, but all of this shower activity dancing through the area. Here's the heaviest. We have locally heavy rain along Highway 11. Hallock. Uh, all the way through Carlstad, Greenbush, and now all the way up to the uh, War Road area and the Lake of the Woods area. We have some moderate to heavy showers of rain and they're not moving anywhere too fast. They're kind of staying in the same area. These showers are moving to the northeast at 30 miles per hour. They're 31 miles from the FM area, so it looks like the best chance will be Horace, South Moorhead, South Fargo, a chance for some sprinkles and showers. Breckenridge, you'll be seeing them within the next 10 minutes. 70 degrees or so for the majority of the viewing area. Temperatures a little bit cooler in Grand Forks with some clouds working their way through. Your hour by hour forecast does show some showers in northwest Minnesota, but this batch down to the south. Watch this moving out of South Dakota tonight will be more energy, and that means we can draw a line from, say, Ellendale through Lisbon through the uh, Oh, Hillsboro area and on it up into northwest Minnesota. Everywhere north and west of that line, pretty quiet, albeit cloudy, but to the south and east, there's a decent chance of some scattered showers or rumbles of thunder as we go through the evening. Overnight, it quiets down a little bit, but doesn't clear out. Clouds and fog. First thing in the morning, fog north. And tomorrow looks similar. Temperatures warming. We'll have peaks of sunshine throughout the day. We're on our way to near 70 once again, well above average. And then as we head to the dinner hour and head to the dinner table, a chance for some rumbles of thunder, mainly in our southern counties in the lakes country once again and still above average temperature wise. Your hometown forecast shows near 70 for many areas. Chance of some rumbles of thunder down south. There may be a little bit more in the way of sunshine up north 70 year uh, snapshot temperature there in the five o'clock hour in Grand Forks. Look at this beautiful view of the Pembina Gorge. Is it not just breathtaking? Thanks, Chris, for taking the time to not only go out, but upload your shot. Now look at your planning forecast. First alert weather day. This is the prep day, right? Thursday, most of the day we're going to be on the cool side, but it won't be below freezing by Friday morning, though. You'll want to have to, you know, bring in the cat and all of that kind of stuff because it's going to be cold near 25 to 30 here in the FM area, even colder for some of our northern communities. Then we climb out of the cellar, but nothing too warm as we head through your weekend 50s to near 60 by Monday. All right, so we bring it back up a little bit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yep. Okay. No park is needed yet, but <laughs> Uh, maybe frost scraper. Yeah, all right. yeah. Thanks so much, Hutch. Well, sleep doesn't come easy for many of us. Up next on Valley News Live at 5, what you can do if you're stressed out before bed.